God, Steven. I got him. God. <laughs> and then he got off. Everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel appreciate you checking the video out so it's currently by the middle of May there is literally nobody else <laughs> in the parking lot slick calm right now but it's supposed to get up to I think about five ten mile an hour later but plan on doing is fishing docks today uh, once that sun gets up, I believe they should be pretty keyed on docks. I mean, we're right in the, not really the beginning, but the, the thick of the post pond right before they go into their real summer pattern. So, I'm gonna go check some docks, pluck some chickens, get the old cooler filled up, and hopefully, 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 we're gonna find us a dago. Hee haw! nine incher yeah he'll start the day though I probably hit like I don't know six docks a lot of fish on them but they're not active at all there's a little bit of a shad spawn going on so I just changed to a, a, a monkey milk fluke I don't know if that made a difference or what, but I did get a bite. I'm trying not to spend more than about 10 minutes per dock. A lot of fish on this dock, but there was two other docks that had some really good ones on it. Let's get our day started on this one though. See what happens. Took longer than I want to admit. Plan A didn't work. A lot of fish. Can't make them bite. Don't want to waste too much time on them. I'll probably fish like 30 dogs. Probably six of them had fish on them. Nice little chunk. That's what I did. I pulled out to this. Little DNR brush pile. <laughs> Just check it out. There ain't no real giants on it, but something to get this limit started, though. Yeah, got one off this bridge. 
sitting in about 20 feet of water. Not a very big one though. Probably about nine. Eh. Nine and a half inch. Good eater. one right there go come here buddy yeah oh, oh open your mouth man oh oh yeah right there on the top of the lip he freaking smoked it nice fish probably about I don't know, 10 and a half 11 inch too bad. Heck yeah. Number four. Add to the old limit. <laughs> that joker tried to take the daggone rod out of my hand. Oh. Right now I'm using the 6.6 ACC paired up with a Pacific Sun Viper X. Four pound vicious line. 132 ounce. Crappy man green little minnow with a small split shot. Y'all know the deal. It ain't nothing new. It does damage though. Try to show y'all the brush pile after this cast. Cause I, I hit this joker right on the head. Let's see if we can get a back to back real quick. I'll show y'all what I'm fishing. All right, you'll see. A lot of small fish in there. If you pan around, I mean, there's brush piles all through here. 25, 20 feet of water. Like I know a lot of it's like real bright glowy, but Majority of that small fish, sadly. <laughs> but I believe we can pick some out of here. That's one thing about brush pile fishing. There's a lot of fish in the brush that you don't see, so sometimes you just gotta fish. Got the mother. Stack of dang fish right there. God, that's a giant. Why it's always worth going around checking docks. <laughs> I can never fish a dock this dock day in my life. This one's pretty small, but it's a bite. Well, he's probably a keeper. Can't make no tacos with that. Let me show y'all. Hold on. Look, I ran over. All these daggum fish right there, and they all spread out. So I came on the side of this dock, let them come back. I missed one really nice one, I pulled it out of this daggum mouth. They look like they're pretty dang hungry over here. So 
we might hit the daggone mother load. Don't know yet. We'll see what we can pull off of here, though. Which is weird. There's one. Oh, I was way at the bottom of them. The bigger one's at the top. <laughs> Another throwback. Fun though. I thought I was above them. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> too much fun, too much fun. This keeper right here is about nine inch. Oh, not no giant gigantic. But let's see what he is. Nine and a half. Oh, about through and back. But like old Hook City says, we grocery fishing, not trophy fishing. <laughs> mm. That's a good one. Decent one. Come here, buddy. Open your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> Lean, mean fighting machine right there. Oh. Nice, healthy post farm black crappy. We're using old crappy man green. Like we always do. So let me kind of explain what's happening. These, the bigger fish, are moving in and out of this brush pile feeding. So whenever you run into this, the best thing to do is to just stay put. I mean, I know I made a video about running around, but I mean, these fish are moving in and out within like two or three minutes. It's not like they're coming back every 30 minutes. But I'll show you all the brush pile right now. You see how there's not a lot of fish on it? What we're looking for is the school. I don't know exactly where it's going. But that school right there is what you want. Those suckers right there. So those fish are not on this post, but that post. And we've got the wind blowing into us. So if I throw past it, it should push it just enough in there to get a bite. Theoretically. So I'm gonna let it fall pretty much to about 12 feet. So when I start winding, it'll start rising up. And that should get to a pretty good strike zone. If this dang catfish don't mess me up and scare them. Hmm, there we go. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh, you got me wet, you brother. That's freaking heat on right there, guys. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, open my mouth, man. Come on. Yes. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. I could have flipped you in. <laughs> You stuck, stuck. Fire going on. That's a nice fish right there. Probably 13 incher, give or take. And he came out of that school up under the dock. Came up and got it. But yeah, that's a nice fish. Dark crappy. That's a fighting little joker right there. Oh, a nice one. Oh, come on. Be breaking my dang line, boy. <laughs> Another nice one. It's a very, very annoying bridge to get up on. <laughs> they seem like they're just out of reach. Every cast. Oh. All right, guys. So that about wraps it up. Ended up with 19. Didn't get the limit, but it's all good. Got a little hot. Uh, we went live for about an hour. Didn't catch a single fish, and I get off live and catch three in a row. But that's how it goes hope you enjoyed today's video hope you learned something every video i try to teach something it ain't all about just catching them I'm trying to get better at that but hopefully when this video comes out we'll get to 10,000. so that'll be awesome now we're gonna be road to 20k gonna have to give away something for that though 20,000. i don't know let me know down in the comments below what, what we should give away Anyway guys, subscribe if you haven't. Let's grow this channel. Hit the like button.